Hi folks, Fred Lunt here, and I have a question from Paul in Pittsburgh who writes, Lately, I've been craving an after-dinner smoke, but don't quite know how to pair it with my food. How can I find the right cigar? Well today, I'm going to guide you on how to match your meals and find the right after-dinner cigar, and I'll even suggest a post-meal drink. Now the main thing you need to keep in mind is that you want a cigar that will complement and cut through the salt, spice, and subtle flavors of your meal. Now, I'm going to make this really simple, I'm going to stick to four main styles of dishes. Now the first meal should be a staple in every man's diet, steak. Now if you're a meat and potatoes kind of guy, a big juicy steak can have savory, peppery, and loaded with juices and aromas. Instead of digging into that triple fudge chocolate lava cake with chocolate chips, you might want to give the Gloria Siri RF number 00 a taste. It's peppery up front, but with a nice creamy and sweet smooth tail end. It has a hint of creamy toffee on the palate, while still maintaining that biting spice and it's just a cigar to help power through the mighty meaty steak. And if you're like myself and enjoy a nice glass of bourbon after such a feast, a glass of bullet bourbon makes a great combo. Now on to our next dish, Italian cuisine. And if you're anything like me, a nice thick meaty gravy that's loaded with garlic will be more your style. Instead of stuffing your face with cannolis from the bakery, try the Drew Estate Java. It's a collaboration cigar between Jonathan Drew and Rocky Patel and it really knocks it out of the park. It has a smooth, creamy, and sweet combination of tobacco with a blend of rich tasting Nicaraguan filler. The blending of the mocha is what really makes this cigar stand out, while the creaminess and the coffee flavor help break up the acidity of the tomatoes. Pair this with the ever classic Italian beverage, espresso. Diving into our next category, seafood. Now you've just finished a big heaping lobster with crab cakes on the side, and now there's empty shells and claws on the floor and butter running down your chin. You want a cigar, but not just any cigar will do. It's got to have a nice amount of pepper, because this pepper flavoring is what's going to help cut through all the butter and garlic. And what you should be looking for is a cigar with a Corojo or a Cameroon wrapper. The Camacho Corojo is a perfect match for this meal. It has notes of molasses and sweet cedar to complement the sweetness of the lobster meat, while holding on to the distinct spice and red pepper that the Corojo is known for. A dark rum? The Drink of Sailors is my recommendation to you. With a splurgy dish like lobster, splurge a little more on yourself and pick up a bottle of Flor de Caña for its light, sweet, toasted, and tobacco flavor. Now last, but certainly not least, barbecue. Barbecue is often loaded with spices and sweetness, and when it's done right, it's falling off the bones delicious. Now what you should look for in a cigar to match will be on the dark, sweet side with a full body to complement that salty, spice sweetness that we all love about barbecue. My suggestion to you, the Paragas 1845 Oscuro. This is a truly unique cigar and that it has a spicy blend of Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan Lijero, while boasting a Connecticut Havano Oscuro wrapper. Now it has a smooth, stout, and perfectly balanced flavor, and what more to pair this with than a beer? I recommend the Belgian Dubel, particularly the Amagang Abbey Ale. It has a smooth balance of fermented sugar and fruity notes to complement both your meal and the Partagas. I hope this guide helps you the next time you reach for an after dinner smoke. This is my first of many Cigar 101 videos to come, so stay tuned for more.